Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Campbell again. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about Virginia's waterways. So we're going to look at this map of Virginia. Again, remember it looks like a sideways triangle. Okay. Right now we're just reviewing, so you don't need to draw or write anything at this time. If you remember, we talked about the Atlantic Ocean and the Chesapeake Bay. The Atlantic Ocean, we talked about provided uh, transportation links between Virginia and other places like Europe, Africa, and the Caribbean. The Chesapeake Bay provided a safe harbor, kept sailors safe when they enter from people that may be in the Atlantic Ocean. And the Chesapeake Bay was also a source of food and transportation. We discussed that Lake Drummond was surrounded by the Dismal Swamp, and they are both located in the Coastal Plain Tidewater region. Lake Drummond is a shallow natural lake that is surrounded by the Dismal Swamp. And the Dismal Swamp, we talked about... It being also in the coastal plain tidewater region, but it has a variety of wildlife, which means that lots of different types of animals live there. Now, we talked about the four rivers, okay? But there's more that we have to know about these rivers. So yesterday, you watched a video and made an anchor chart, and you learned how to remember how to label these rivers. So if you use your mnemonic device, principles, race, yellow jaguars, you can label the map with the correct order of the rivers. But one thing that you need to know about the rivers is that they all flow downhill. Okay, all rivers flow downhill into the Chesapeake Bay. Now, There's several things about these rivers that we are going to have to remember. All right, so go ahead and get out your notebook paper and your colored pencils because we're going to make another anchor chart that's going to help us remember the major cities that are located on these rivers, okay? So you can pause this video if you need to and get your supplies and then come back. All right, so we're going to, again, we're going to draw the state of Virginia, including the eastern shore. Now, we're not going to label the Chesapeake Bay or Atlantic Ocean right now, but we are going to label our rivers. So we're going to draw four rivers. We know one is at the top, two, three, four, and Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but they do need to be similar. So, principles, race, yellow, jaguars. We know this is the Potomac. Rappahannock. the York, and the James. All right, so here, what we're going to do today is we are going to learn several mnemonic devices that help us remember what major cities are located on each river because you have to remember that. So for our first river, the Potomac River, I want you to make this chart on your notebook paper. So the Potomac River, and I kind of want you to put principles and underline both peaks. All right, so the Potomac River we know flows into the Chesapeake Bay. So, first thing you have to know it flows into the Chesapeake Bay. Okay? 
But we also, the second thing you have to know about this river is the city that is located on this river. And that city is Alexandria. Okay, now Alexandria is located on the Potomac River. Now here is my silly sentence that I want you to write, okay? Alexandria is located on the Potomac, so you're writing or doing everything that I do so that you have this information. We like to say Alex likes potatoes. Okay, Alex for Alexandria, potatoes for Potomac, just something silly to help us remember that, okay? The next river going down is the Rappahannock, so we have the Rappahannock. Principles race. Okay. Again, the first thing you have to know is it flows into the Chesapeake Bay. And the major cities on the Rappahannock River is Fredericksburg. All right, so Fredericksburg is located on the Rappahannock River. And our silly sentence we use to remember this, Fred likes to rap. Fredericksburg is located on the Rappahannock River. Okay? Our very next river, we have the Potomac Principles Race, Yellow, Potomac, Rappahannock, York. Our next river is the York River. Okay. Now, Principles Race, Yellow. Okay. Again, the very first thing, it flows into the Chesapeake Bay. Now, the Potomac River and Rappahannock River, they had one city that we had to remember. The York River has two major cities. I'm sorry. That is not correct. That is the James River. The York River only has one major city, just like the Potomac, the Rappahannock, and the York. All three of these have one major city that we have to remember. And on the York River, the major city that we have to remember is Yorktown. It is located. on the York River. So that one is very easy. Yorktown is located on the York River. Okay? Now if we look at our map, we have one more river. So we've done the Potomac. Alexandria is located on the Potomac River. Alex likes potatoes. Fredericksburg 
is located on the Rappahannock River. Fred likes to rap. Yorktown is located on the York River, Yorktown, York. Okay. Our last river that we're going to discuss is the James River. And the J and James stands for Jaguars, which is a very expensive car. So again, the very first thing that you have to remember about each river that it flows into the Chesapeake Bay. Okay? And it's flowing downhill. All rivers flow downhill. They cannot flow up a hill, so they have to go down. And the second thing, and this is where I almost messed up a while ago, the James River is the only river that contains two major cities that we have to remember. So one of them is a very cool place called Jamestown. So Jamestown is located on the James River and usually we get to take a field trip to Jamestown but with everything that's going on this year I do not think that that is going to be an option and it makes me very sad so if your parents ever have a chance to take you there it is a very cool place to visit and learn about Jamestown so this is the first major city, and it's easy. Jamestown is located on the James River. It contains the name. And the second one is Richmond. All right. So Richmond and Jamestown are located along the James River. Now the way I can remember that Richmond is located on the James River, Rich and James, here's our silly sentence. James is rich. Okay, Jamestown, Richmond. So Richmond is located on the James River. Boys and girls, make sure that you have everything that I have on your anchor chart and put it behind your Virginia Studies tab so that you can use it on other assignments.